Tanisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Before I begin, I have to give a big shout out to my old subscribers, my new subscribers. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. So today I'm going to be doing, uh, I call it my uh, To Be Honest series. So this is for the Divine Masculine, the Aries Divine Masculine, and this is what they need to be honest about, um, how they honestly feel about a situation in their heart, and honest advice from spirit moving forward. So with that being said, I'm going to jump right in. Cards have already been shuffled and drawn. I am reading with the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor, and I am clarifying with the Dreams of Gaia Tarot Deck. Okay, so to my left, I have... The situation that happened in the past, in the center, I have how divine the Aries Divine Masculine honestly feels about the situation. And to my right, I have moving forward along with guidance from spirit, honest, brutal guidance from spirit. Sometimes it's, it's not something that you don't want to hear, but it's something that you need to hear. So don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Let us begin. Okay, so we have here fourth chakra Archangel Raphael in reverse. Eight of water in reverse. Action in reverse. Emotions. And deceit. Oh boy we have here okay divine masculine so in the recent past somebody broke your heart I'm picking up the energy of a feminine feminine energy this feminine energy did not appreciate you this feminine energy also did not um, they were lazy. I'm picking up the energy of someone who just doesn't want to do shit. Like they just, they're just lazy. It's very lazy. They don't have any follow through. They don't do things that they say they're going to do. But this feminine energy was also deceiving you. This feminine energy was um, suppressing their real emotion. So this feminine energy made it seem like they cared about you or they loved you. But in reality, they... They had feelings for somebody else. Uh, this feminine energy also could have, um, I'm picking up something to do with money. They're either using you for your money or they stole money from you. They also would, um, they would backstab you this feminine energy backstab you oh okay so now i'm picking up a storyline of a feminine energy that stole money from you and gave it to another masculine energy yeah they would take money from you to give to oh so this feminine energy would take money from you and give it to her side piece yeah she would give it to her dude on the side and her dude on the side was a loser Yes, I'm seeing someone very scruffy, a masculine energy that's very scruffy. This is not a divine masculine. This was this feminine energy's karmic. One of them. So it was a lesson for this feminine energy, but she never learned it. And she would take from you. I'm seeing um, a feminine energy that's charging a card, a debit card or credit card always paying for stuff for this person, for this masculine, taking them out to eat, taking them out to shop, um, also paying for hotels. So this feminine energy was entertaining her side piece on your dime. Divine masculine. She would also talk about you. She tried to... Um, Just downplay your character.
She also lied. She lied to you a lot. I'm hearing com compulsive liar. She was a compulsive liar. She lied about stuff she didn't even need to lie about. And she's so used to lying to you. And this, um, this, this feminine energy, she did not appreciate you. Not even in the slightest. You were just, um, you were a means to an end for her. Right? You had it. Um, I'm hearing that Rick Ross song. Fuck with me, you know I got it. This came up in another reading too. So that's what that, that's what happened. So this feminine energy, divine masculine, she was fucking with you because you had it. You had the money, right? You had the security. You had the stability. You had the brains. I'm hearing you're you're very smart. I'm picking up the energy of um a divine masculine who's very very smart when it comes to um, business and getting things done. Ah, but not so smart when it comes to uh, matters of the heart, but that's okay. That's okay. We live and we learn, right? It's all lessons and everything happens for a reason. Uh, but I'm picking up the energy of a feminine who was deceiving you, divine masculine, left, right, and center. <sighs> This feminine energy, she would just, I can't get over the fact that she would just lie. Like, she would lie about stuff that you didn't even need to lie about. That's how much she was used to just lying. Very, very deceptive, very, very sneaky, very conniving. A lot of times, Divine Masculine, you thought that she was out with friends or family members. A lot of times, she was in cahoots with friends and family members. Because she would tell them lies about you, so they did not, um, they didn't have your back. They also did not have a true picture of your character. This person was very conniving, very sneaky. And they would, um, they would go along with her plan. So I'm seeing a friend, um, Divine Masculine, you're calling a friend to find out how things are going. They said they're going out to dinner or something, or they're doing something at the house. And the friend would lie and say that they're together, but they weren't. The friend knew that um, this feminine energy was off with her side piece. Also, uh, I'm picking up the energy of a family member, mm, a feminine family member that is um, that was jealous. Uh, that was jealous of this feminine energy. This feminine, this feminine family member, divine masculine, wanted to be with you. So that's why they were in cahoots because they were they were hoping that things would blow up and then you would want to be with them. You're not aware of this, or some of you divine masculines are aware of it. Are they you were aware that a feminine family member wanted to be with you? Some of you had a feminine family member come on to you, try to make moves on you. I'm seeing a house party and a divine masculine in the kitchen and a feminine energy that is a family member of who you were with at the time, divine masculine. Like they're wearing some like real tight and they are shapely, like they got big ass, they got big ass. And they're press, trying to press up on you and, and do these little moves. You know how females can be sometimes. Like, they drop something and bend over. Like, you don't need to bend like that. You can bend from the knees. You can bend from the knees. You don't need to bend over like that, right? Just trying to get you to stare at their ass, stare at their breasts, brush up on you, you know, reach over and try to brush their breasts on your chest. Like, some real, right? Pick me shit. Pick me. Yeah. I'm picking up the energy of a divine masculine that's just really fucking uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Oh, boy. Okay, so presently divine masculine, we have hostilities in reverse. Sage in reverse. Yin and yang. Self. And broken heart in reverse. So you, you have healed from this mess. I'm hearing mess. 
right? You've healed from this mess. You are not fighting with this person. You are not talking to this person. You are done. You are done, done with this person. With this female energy, you're done and you're focusing on yourself. You are divinely guided to go within and heal, right? Because you had, and this healing also caused transformation with you. You are not the same person that would put up with mess, right? You are loving on yourself. You are focused on the things that you want for your life, what your true passions are. You are focused on your own abundance. You are focused on your own magic. I'm feeling the energy of a divine masculine that is, um, you're working on something. You're working on something and it's coming from within. So you could be, mission, I'm hearing mission. Some of you are starting to figure out what your mission is, what you're supposed to be doing here on this planet. And that's what you're focusing on. And this is helping you to heal. Some of you are going within and doing your inner healing. Okay. Okay, Divine Masculine. So I'm picking up a Divine Feminine that's doing her healing as well. And you have not met this Divine Feminine yet. You haven't met your Divine Feminine, but she's coming in. After your healing. I'm hearing after the fire, you'll be pure as gold. Right? And you are being um, purified. You're doing purification right now. You're releasing things and people and experiences that no longer serve you. You're not fucking with people anymore that fucked you over. Anybody that violates, you're not even fucking with them anymore. And you're healing. Because this person really broke your heart. It really caused um, an imbalance in your chakras as well. Like you had to do some um, chakra healing, chakra alignment after this because this blew everything out of balance. Yeah, this, um, this feminine energy from the past, they really fucked with your shit. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, emotional, mental. Some of you divine masculines, you started smoking more. I'm um, shaking. I'm seeing a divine masculine with a cigarette in his hands. I'm um, shaking. Some of you started rolling up that weed more, you know? Yeah, your blunts just started getting bigger and bigger because you were stressed as shit. From this female energy. And now, now you're in your zen. And you're done with all of that. You're done with this person. You're done with their drama. You're done with their mess. You're not, you're even at a point where you're not even, you're honestly just, you can't be bothered with them. You're not fighting with them. You're not speaking to them. You're done. Like they are no longer a part of your world. It's like they no longer exist to you. I'm seeing children. Some of you divine masculines may have a child with this feminine energy from the past and you are only dealing with your children. Like to the point where you go out and get your children cell phones <laughs> so that you don't even need to call. I'm hearing someone saying, I ain't even calling that bitch. I'm not even calling that bitch. So you do not need to interact with them at, on any level at all with this feminine energy. Got cell phones, um, bank accounts for your children so that you can directly send them money and you do not have to interact with this feminine energy at all. Because you're done, done. Uh, also, Divine Masculine, this feminine energy from the past, just the FYI, they, um, this side piece that they had ends up cheating on them. Some of them end up getting an STD from this side piece because their side piece was dirty. It was a dirty um, masculine energy. Yeah, sleeping around, unprotected. Some of them just um, live dirty. Yeah. So this, um, this feminine energy from the past ends up getting effed over by the, their side piece anyway. It's called karma, baby. It's called karma. Karma's real. Karma is real. And they're going to end up brokenhearted. They're going to end up the way they left you all up in their head, stressed out right? Um, emotional trauma. 
and this feminine energy may try to come back, but they don't know how to because they know. She knows what she did. She knows. And the thing is, the, the bad, the worst part about it, okay, so this feminine energy is not, um, they're not happy that they, um, that you guys are not together. They're not happy about what happened. They're unhappy about the fact that they got caught. Yeah. That's why they're remorseful because they got caught. That's why they're remorseful because their karma came down on them and their side piece that they thought would eventually, they would eventually end up with brush them. Yeah. That's why they're upset. You did good. You did good, Divine Masculine. And you're honestly, to be honest, you're in a way better place now. You're healing. You're over this. You are over this. And you're focusing on yourself. Like 100% you're focusing on yourself. And the things that you want for yourself. There is a, there is a passion coming to, to the surface. And Spirit is guiding you, protecting you, supporting you towards uh, a new beginning for yourself you started a new cycle you started a new cycle and you have way better things in it you started a new cycle that's going to come from from who you really are and what you really love to do from the new you right the new you moving into the future along with guidance from spirit divine masculine we have air oh, sorry Anxiety in reverse. I was going to say Aries in reverse. <laughs> we have 12 of fire in reverse. A door to personal healing and happiness in reverse. Okay. Nine of air. And victory in reverse. Okay. So divine masculine. To be honest, how you honestly feel about this situation moving into the future is you are still done, done. You are dropping the anxiety. You are dropping um, all, being all up in your head, being stressed out, um, experiencing emotional trauma. You are done with this. The storm is over with this feminine energy. For those of you that may have been... Um, Maybe thinking about, you know, making amends, something happens again that really just makes you just, yeah, nope, nope, that's it, that's a wrap, that's a wrap, that makes you wrap it up, you wrap up the cycle, because you realize and you see this feminine energy for who they really are, you see this, you see this, this is hero in reverse, this feminine energy is selfish as shit, Right? She only cares about herself. It's not a self-love is the best love and I take care of myself so I can take care of others. It's no, nigga. You going to take care of me, right? You focus on me. I care about me. I care about what can be, how I benefit from you, what I can get from you. That's what this feminine energy was on. Very, very selfish, very self-centered. Um, this feminine energy was not... Not a good person. Their energy, oh, very I'm picking up the energy, a very low vibration. Very low vibration. Yeah, I, their vibration moves. Their vibration is so low. I'm picking up, it's like um, it moves so slow because it's so low. Right? This five um, feminine energy, uh, you see that this feminine energy is fucking lazy too. They're lazy. They have no ambition. And you realize that you weren't going to have any type of happiness or abundance. You were not going to have a good relationship with this feminine energy. Right? And you started to see the truth of the matter. And you started to speak your truth. You started to see the bigger picture. Yeah? You see the bigger picture. And you know what kind of relationship you want to be in now, Divine Masculine. You know um, the type of energy, female, feminine energy that you want. Doesn't necessarily have to be a female, but you know what kind of energies you will allow around yourself, you will allow in your life. You are looking for somebody who aligns with who you really are, right? You're looking for someone whose magic matches your own. Divine masculine, your divine feminine is going to be coming in. 
You keep walking in your truth. You keep focusing on, Spirit wants you to keep focusing on what is real for you. Um, Spirit wants you to focus on knowing yourself, right? You have two, two self cards here. Spirit wants you to focus on yourself. Hundred, hundred. Focus on yourself. What do you want for you? Right? And go for those things. Because you are not going to have any victory with this person. Right? This is um this relationship's dead. It's dead, it's done. There's nothing, there's nothing there for nothing there for you. And you know that, you realize that. You wrap this up. I'm feeling the energy of a, a divine masculine that is there relieved. Maybe feeling a little bit lonely, right? But you're relieved that this is over with this feminine energy. Maybe feeling a little bit sad as well, but for the most part, your overriding energy is relief. It's relief. Good riddance. The rubbish is gone. I'm also feeling the energy of a divine masculine that is very much about out with the old, in with the new. Yeah. And you honestly are focusing on a fresh start for yourself. For those of you divine masculines that have children, you are focusing on a fresh start for yourself so that you can um, have a, a new beginning, create a new chapter in terms of experiences, higher vibrational experiences with you and your children. A lot of you divine masculines, you would argue and fight a lot with this feminine energy in the past in front of the children, and that's not what you want. You want your children to see a different example of what love is, love and relationships are. But Divine Masculine, you made a very good decision. Spirit is letting you know that you would not win in this situation with this um, feminine energy. There was no victory in the, with this relationship. This feminine energy was not a good person, right? And I'm not judging. It's, it's, it's in the cards. This feminine energy was very low vibrational, right? This feminine energy also couldn't can't create abundance for themselves, right? The feminine energy needs to heal, right? That's why they were leeching off of you because they can't do it for themselves. Because they think they think so low, their energy, their vibration is so low, like they just. Their ideas are very low, very non-productive, right? The things that they think about, the things that they do, do not create abundance. They do not create healing. They actually make things worse. And if this feminine energy tries to come for you in the future, divine masculine, it's not even going to work. They will have no victory over you because you are divinely guided, divinely protected, 100% supported by the universe. And this feminine energy doesn't have no damn sense anyway. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing um, they can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Like they just, they don't, they don't, they're not even that smart. They're not smart enough to do that. I'm hearing um, divine masculine spirit is letting you know advising you not to be unequally yoked, meaning to surround yourself with people and experiences that match your vibration, right? That is also another thing. Um, in order for someone to be in your reality, their vibration has to match yours or yours has to match theirs. So if you wanted to be with this feminine energy, you would have to lower your vibration or she would have to low, um, raise hers. And she's not going to do that. And neither are you. So this is done. She can't even exist in the world that you are creating for yourself because her vibration does not match. Remember, you've been working on yourself. You're different. You've transformed. So this feminine energy can't even come around you even if she wanted to. Her vibration can't, um, her frequency can't, um, what is it, what is it? Her frequency 
Her frequency can't flow in your world, right? Your frequency is too fast for hers because it's too high. So you would not have any victory with this person and you know that. You know that, you're seeing the bigger picture. Hmm. Okay, Divine Masculine, this is what I have for you for your to be honest reading. Um, excuse the noise, you know, it's early morning and um, it's a busy day. But uh, Divine Masculine, I encourage you to take a look at the programs offered in my description box. They are channeled from 5D by Sophia Charles. They are created um, by a twin flame for twin flames, right? And these help you to peel back the layers, do your inner healing so that you can come out victorious in your life. Create abundance, personal healing, victory in your life, right? And these programs, they go deep. They go really deep because there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. Uh, right now, we have a promotion where if you purchase a, a larger program, so that's either Twin Flame Union, Soulmate Union, Intimacy Program, you get Confidence or Anxiety Program absolutely free, along with other freebies, other mini courses as well. If you are looking for a personal reading or if you are looking for personal counseling sessions, I do. I offer personal counseling sessions to those who have purchased the programs uh, just to help them walk through it if you're looking for some guidance some clarity some support i am here to serve so with that being said i'm going to wrap this up divine masculine you have yourself a fantastic morning noon or night and i will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side bye